Good afternoon, everyone. We're requesting everybody to observe silence during the presentation, as this presentation by young people on our meditation prior to Friday Road Circle. The aim of meditation is to engage our thoughts, imaginations, emotions, and desires. Connecting to these basic gifts of our humanity reminds us that we are a community of believers seeking to understand the roots of our faith and the mysteries of Christ. The Rosary as a Christian prayer is not just repetitions of formulated prayers, but prayerful meditations on the Gospels and of the significant events in the life of Jesus and in the life of Mary. When the meditations on the mysteries of the Rosary, in this case the glorious mysteries, are accompanied by the Catholic Rosary prayers, the events in the lives of Jesus and Mary come alive. Today, our young members of our Vatican community are inviting us to meditate on the triumphs and the glories of Jesus and Mary. May their reflections, inspired by the gospel events and the early church traditions, prompt the conversion of our hearts, strengthen our will to follow Christ, to lead us to the knowledge of His love in union with Him. At dawn of the first day of the week, I was with John and Peter. I was in my room alone. John and Peter were in the next room. I woke up. There was a light. It was all over the room. There was my son. He came forward. He said to me, Come. For you are the one worthy to be the first to see my risen body. The Lord permitted me to kiss his hand and to be embraced. The Lord in his glorified body in which he had the scars of the nail prints in his hands and feet and the scar of the lance in his side was no longer the bleeding sun I saw on the way to Calvary. His body was full of light, a light that was emanating from his body. Jesus then said to me, Do not, my mother, tell my disciples until I have sent Mary Magdalene, because it is all in the plan of the Father. They will come to faith by seeing and touching. I have come to you 
because you have faith. Pray that my disciples will accept me risen from the dead. My children, the most precious gift you have is your faith. Your faith must not be hidden. Your faith must be your main motivation in your life. Cast away all doubt by prayer. Give yourselves totally to Jesus, who will illuminate your mind and heart through the power of the resurrection. After 40 days, when Jesus appeared to his disciples, Jesus led us to the outskirts of Bethany, to the Mount of Olives, that mount where he was transfigured in the sight of Peter, James and John. Jesus took us to the Mount of Olives and he lifted up his arms and he blessed his apostles and he blessed his disciples. He blessed the holy women and he blessed me, his mother. He said to his apostles, Go to the whole world and preach the good news to every creature. Teach all that I have commanded you. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I am with you always, even to the end of time. Then he said to them, Go to Jerusalem and stay there until my Father has sent you the promise. Then, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will have the power to be my witnesses. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, and even to the ends of the earth. As Jesus was saying this, he was lifted up before our eyes. I longed to go with him, but Jesus said to me, Woman, these are your children. It is not time for you to go now. Stay. I will call you when it is the proper time. Stay and pray with my disciples. He went up into heaven when finally a cloud came and took him from our sight and we saw him no more. Then I saw two men dressed in white. They were angels and said to the apostles, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking up into the heavens? It's Jesus who you saw go up into heaven will come again as he went. Then he went to Jerusalem to the upper room where Jesus had changed bread and wine into his body and blood. There we stay to pray. My children, learn from this mystery. Learn that Jesus is Lord of heaven and earth and all authority belongs to him. There is no authority permitted without my son's consent. Pray for those in authority, for government leaders, that they may be submissive to the authority of Jesus. Pray for missionaries, that they will be faithful to the teaching, the gospel of Jesus, and will teach people the means of salvation. Pray for holy patience, Pray that you will wait upon the Lord and wait till he tells you what to do and when to do it. Be disposed to listen to the voice of God and to obey the voice of God. My children, finally be alert in prayer and be united in prayer. Prayer is a means that God wishes to use 
to bring the church together. I am among you, even now in prayer, asking the Lord to bless you. It was the day of Pentecost. The city of Jerusalem was crowded. Every people from every known nation of the world who were of the Jewish faith came to Jerusalem to celebrate the Feast of Booths. The disciples and the relatives of my son and I were still in the upper room when suddenly we heard a rushing wind. In the room we could feel wind on our faces and then we saw fire right in the midst of us. A fire that was not of this world, but a fire that came upon our heads. And as it touched us, we were filled with the immense power of God. We felt joy and peace. We felt love. All our fear was gone. We no longer had a fear of who came to the door. The disciple John came to me and said, Mother, we are free. We are free. My lady, look, the promise of your son is here. I said to Peter, This must not be kept to yourself. Go and tell everyone about Jesus. The Apostle Peter took the lead and opened the door of the upper room and the Apostles and the disciples went out. There were people from every nation, from every language and yet everyone was understanding Peter's sermon. Everyone was understanding the message of salvation. Peter said, We are not drunk. This is the fulfillment of what was said by the prophet Joel. The Spirit of the Lord will come down on all flesh. Save yourselves, he said. Repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And you too will receive the Holy Ghost. On that day, 3,000 entered the church of my son. I was still in the room listening to Peter and seeing the apostles baptizing those who came forward. Jesus again fulfilled his words. The power of the Spirit was upon his disciples who bore witness to him. My children, pray to the Heavenly Father in his mystery for the power of the Holy Spirit to fill you with love and with boldness. Pray to the Father that the fire of the Spirit will purify you from all trace of sin. My children, if you are in sin, go and seek forgiveness in the sacrament of reconciliation and then pray to my Son that the Holy Spirit will fill your soul with every grace necessary for your salvation and for the salvation of others. Also, my children, share the good news that Jesus is the Saviour of the world and there is no other Saviour but Jesus. I will pray that the Lord will use you in power and by the grace of the Holy Spirit, you will be transformed into witnesses for Jesus. I knew that my last days were to come. After Pentecost, John and I went to Ephesus and we lived there for 30 years. I told John, my days on earth are coming to an end. I wish to go back to Jerusalem and to be with all the apostles and to say farewell. John complied and we went to Jerusalem I asked once we arrived in Jerusalem to send for the apostles. This was before James was executed by Herod. They all met with me except Thomas. I told the apostles, 
It is time for me to leave you, my sons. I must go to be with Jesus, but I am not leaving you orphans like my son did not leave you orphans. Now that I am going to be with Jesus, I will pray for you and I will be concerned with your welfare. Peter said to me, Mother, when you see him, tell him I love him. I told Peter, he knows that you love him by you feeding his sheep. I laid back and I fell asleep. With great sorrow, my sons, the apostles, laid me in a tomb. No sooner that they closed the door of the tomb, I heard my son's voice. Come, my beloved mother. Come and inherit the kingdom prepared for you by my father. My eyes opened, and Jesus in all glory came for me, and angels were attending him. The angels lifted me up in their hands, and I went and followed my son into heaven. I heard the choirs of angels and the choirs of the just as they sang a hymn of praise to the most holy trinity. They said, My children, in this mystery, ask the Heavenly Father for an intense desire to be with Jesus. My children, the things of this world are temporary. Nothing in this world will satisfy the longing of your hearts. Only Jesus, my Son, will satisfy you. Only Jesus, my Son, can fill the void in your hearts and make you happy. Let your satisfaction be in Jesus. My children, I wish for you to do deeds of mercy and love for the honour of Jesus. And when you pray, my children, pray that your hearts will be filled with the only one, Jesus. When I arrived in heaven, the angels quickly put a robe of gold upon me. Then they put a mantle full of jewels, and then I was led to the throne of the Trinity. God the Father said to me, O oh my daughter, you have been faithful as my instrument. You have brought up my son in dignity and goodness. You have been faithful as my servant and as my daughter. You have kept your soul spotless by being faithful to my grace, which I have given to you since you were conceived in your mother's womb. Welcome, my daughter, into our presence. Come closer, you merit the crown of our favor. I approached the throne of the Trinity, and then God the Father, Jesus my Son, and the Holy Spirit, who is God, crowned me with a crown of gold and jewels. There was great rejoicing in heaven. The angels began to sing, Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. And the saints began to sing, Blessed are you, O God most high. For you have exalted your servant Mary to be queen, 
to be honored above all creatures. And the angels also joined in the praises by saying, Blessed are you, O God of hosts, for you have thought it worthy to exalt and crown the lowly creature, Mary, as Queen of the Universe. My son took me by the hand and led me to the throne prepared for me. Sit here, my mother. This throne is yours. I have prepared it for you. It is here that you will be with me for all eternity. It is here that you will intercede for the whole world and now will hear whatever you say, for I love you and I wish to honor you. Oh my son, it is good for me to be here, but I also pray that soon your apostles, your disciples, and all your people will be here with us to praise you, to love you for all eternity. Yes, my mother. I will give to you whatever your heart desires. And from now on, all men that acknowledge me as their king must also acknowledge you as their queen and mother. My children, I come to pray for you and to ask Jesus' blessing upon you. Give yourselves to me, my children. Entrust yourselves to my prayer. Jesus is always ready to respond to my prayers. Give yourselves to me, my children, and your prayers will be answered by my Son. Come to me in prayer, and I will whisper in your hearts. Obey me, your mother, and it will go well with you, and I will intercede for you, and you will gain favour from the Lord. And yes, my children, pray for the grace to become totally holy in the eyes of God, and I will be waiting for you, my children, until we are together to praise the Lord for all eternity.
to pay.